Actually, this game is looking kind of weird. I don't think it likes the <laughs> the resolution, the big resolution. Mm. Actually, this game is so old that it has an option to enable the widescreen, to enable widescreen, period. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Game capture, Tom Raider Legend. So, how are you doing, Sam? Now that you are a cyber boy. Okay, can you guys see this the screen now? Uh, Chandler, you fell in love with the man of the future. The only one who gives you joy is your computer boy. <clears throat> also, you were reading some manga yesterday, and now you can't see you the same way anymore, Chandler. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that is, you guys can see it. That's amazing. I'll just change the the things on on the information on on Twitch, and then we'll get to the game. Also, sorry, <laughs> this um, this whole thing is a mess. It's a gigantic, not entirely fun mess, but it's a mess, and hopefully we learned new and important lessons along the way. And also, guess what? The game crashed. A fatal error has occurred while playing Tomb Raider Legend. Please refer to the README file for information that might help you solve this problem. Or contact Ada's customer support. How awesome it is it. Let's try this again. Okay, it works now. So this is the new Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider Legend, from 2006, I think. Apparently it doesn't like my controller. It's like, hey you have a controller connected, but I don't wanna use it, so fuck you. So keyboard and mouse it is then I guess. And before we begin a little introduction to this game. It's um it's supposed to be the revival after Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness tanked it so hard that core design uh, went bankrupt. They they gave the the rights of making the Tomb Raider games to Crystal Dynamics. They had made the Legend of Kane game series and I think Pandemonium as well. Maybe some other games I don't know. And they went and made a new Tomb Raider 
Uh, I guess we'll start with this one. I could go to the Croft Manor, now the Croft Manor has more things going on, but let's start a new game. That's so you guys can get familiar with this new Lara. Also, let's play on hard, because why not? I don't remember what the difference in levels is, but I think it just makes the, en the enemies tougher a little bit. Let's go! And you guys can see, hooray! And thick lips! Very, very thick! You guys have no idea! so cold all the time. I shouldn't like it either. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. Look! Henry, what's happened? Lady Croft, hey, 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 hey. This is Bravo Tango 229er. We lost our port side engine. We're trying to get cross speeds open. Are we going to crash? Starboard engine not responsive. Not unless it's absolutely necessary. Stabilizer tab. Thinking runner and losing altitude. We're going to pull those down. Close your eyes, darling. I don't want to close my eyes. This is the beginning of Tomb Raider Legend. Lara dies pretty much. Just a, she doesn't really. You know, I think you forgot your climbing gear on purpose. What would give you that idea? Really, Zip. It's like going up a set of stairs, only far less forward. Yeah. Well, I want to throw up every time you look down. Hey, Alice is back. Back so soon. <laughs> From Florence, wasn't it? Decided on Genoa at the last minute. My dissertation will never see daylight at this rate, but never mind that. What are you doing in Bolivia? Ascending. Alistair, meet two and up. She's a lovely pre incan civilization. Currently in ruins. Delighted. I've been looking for certain artifacts. Well, for some time now. And an old friend working in the powers has tipped me off by a rather promising rumor. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone dais, among other things. A big rock, and she won't say why. Oh, well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? She's speaking, but her lips are not moving. Also, that's the introduction to this game, and I'm gonna turn on uh, subtitles because I don't know if you guys can hear it very well. And I've listened to this dialogue thousands and thousands of times. But for you guys, I think it might be the first, so I'm gonna let the subtitles on. Uh, very thick. Leo, they made the Blood Omen games, I never heard of that. The Legend of Cain, Soul River, those I have, and Dead Sun, that one I have not. So, the idea now is that Lara, she's not alone in, in her expeditions anymore, she finally learned a lesson. If you're gonna explore an adventure around, do so with a support team from around the world. So she has a, a headpiece. It is pretty much a remote webcam and a microphone that so she can talk to two lovely dudes, Zip and Lannister. They are in Lara's house. It's making sure that she's doing okay. Also, how do I let go? F. F is the let go button. That's not the best button ever. And yeah, same as Tomb Raider Anniversary, this one has full um, full movement around, and it's pretty fun. 
And, like you would expect, this one has secrets. Although this one has a shitload of secrets compared to the previous ones. And physics for the first time ever. Also, I think it has light. I don't know how to turn it on, but there's light to be had somewhere. Yep, and there's this uh, PDA with information. I mean, Bolivia, it would seem. I have got one of the 16 secrets of this level. Let me go to the controllers and let's reset them because this is not looking super nice. Crouch and roll. I'd like this to be C, not F. Direct, blah, 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 blah. I'm never gonna, man, never gonna use these controllers. POS. This is the light thing. Let's change this to Z or Z. And I think these are set to the. my controller. Actually, I think that if I try to use it... No, it doesn't. Okay, then. Uh, Sam, that is the blue bar my life? Yes, in this game it is my life. And holy shit, I fucked, I fucked it up. Big time. Uh, if you guys don't mind, it'll take a little while to change these controllers. Because it doesn't seem to be pretty good, it would, it would seem. Okay, so the jump is a space and I don't want it to use the right mouse, because for whatever reason they thought that the right mouse is a great button to, to put the, the, jump, the jump command. Also, it's recognizing my gamepad, but it's, it's decided not to use it. Which is even sadder. Okay. I wish there was a way to cancel these controllers. Let's put it all on delete and end. Okay, so it's a space to jump, C to crouch and roll, key to grapple, E to interact, uh, shoot, uh, left mouse, yeah. Lock and unlock target, I think. Um, Right mouse button? Grenades. These can be F. Vehicle switch targets. Q that works. Manual aim. This can also be right mouse. So to lock and unlock targets, I think um, uh, R? Nothing else uses R in this game. Pulse is ask. PDA is tab. Switch weapons. Let's roll the mouse. It doesn't recognize the mouse, the mouse wheel as a button, so yeah. Binoculars is gonna be X, sneaks, shift, walks, control, and that's it. Pinky have some, some more or less good controllers going on. Okay, so I set to G. What did I set to G? Because I think this one is better. Or not. Anyway. Uh, avoided the cat. Is this the second one? Uh, is this still the second one? No. This is Tomb Raider Legend. It's the 2006 uh, reboot of the series. Uh, I decided I wanted to play Tomb Raider. Um, the Tomb Raider 4. My computer doesn't seem to want to run it. Do me a favor and check your PDA. It still works, if that's what you're wondering. Cool. They said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it, no problem. Unless you eat it, then you'll have to wait now. 
And I wanted to play Tomb Raider 4, but it wasn't working on my computer. I also wanted to play Tomb Raider um, 6, Angel of Darkness, but it also wasn't working. So now we're here in Tomb Raider Legend. The seventh one, I guess? With the cool new controllers. And hello to you two, welcome. So this game was originally released on the... On the... It was released originally on the PS2, the GameCube, I think, and the Xbox. However, after a while, um, they also re-released this game on the Xbox 360, I think, but they never really released it on the on the PS3. So it's a uh, 360 exclusive. This will be a long trip otherwise. I forgot you were such an optimist. And do you plan on playing Underworld as well? Yes, I will. Eventually. I do wanna play this, then maybe anniversary, and then Underworld also. That's the thing. This is one of those games that I remember more fondly. It doesn't it doesn't look as good or plays as nicely as I remember it. But it's still it's it's still fun. I'm here but I don't see no climber. Yeah, well I can't shoot on sight if I can't see nobody. Got worked up thinking I'd put someone down to me. Now there's nothing. He owes me. Hell yeah, I'll tell Rutland myself. No, it's been pretty. He's a psycho, Benny. He's all the best. Nobody's out here but the idiot twin. Any idea who he is or who he works for? I haven't the foggiest. He's deliberately on the Is that good or bad? It's deliberate, which isn't good. So yeah, Lara encounters human beings for the first time in this whole climb and she decides that shooting them is the thing to do. This is our Lara. Also seeing this one she can take big jumps on the fan remake she could take she couldn't take these big jumps. But yes, I will play Underworld eventually. As soon as I finish this, I know, so let me change the brightness. I'm finding this to be too dark for my tastes. Let's increase the brightness a little bit. And the contrast as well. Now it looks better. It's more visible now. Maybe too bright, but I like it like that. And in this one we have a shitload of new things. We have these grappling hooks. He jumped out and started swinging. Yeah, sort of danced around, screaming and yelling, whatever. Yeah. Well, I would have kicked the hell out of him. And many other fun, fun things. And I'm gonna change this controller as well. The manual aim is not a thing I want in my game. Okay, so lock and unlock target it was G or R. It's now gonna be right mouse. And instead, manual aim is gonna be G. Because, bleh. Okay, so now this game is playable. Look at this. And.
end this whole idea yep, is that Lara she has a whole new set of moves crazy crazy moves she can um, she can kick do the Renos in the face like jump on them and then just by jumping on the dude and then jumping back she starts a kind of a slow motion uh, action combat thing which is super fun and works really well also this game here it had good level design yep. Because the game works. Also here I can I can jump and press the grappling hook to travel these surfaces. Also I need to get there somehow. Uh, using the manual aim and throwing the grappling hook and pulling the secret. That's a thing as well. Uh, avoid it as long as it is in quick time events. Yes, this game has. A shitload of quick time events actually it has one per level, as far as I recall. I'm falling in love all over again. You say that to all the ruins. I'm a terribly lucky girl. And here come the bloody tourists to spoil you. Your team doesn't pick up detail that small. What do you see? Men with guns. Mercenaries by the look of them. What are they doing there? Getting into trouble. And the voice actor is new. And I think that this voice actress is Kali Hale or something. And this is the, f the l this voice actress. She's the. She is the only actress who's done who has done Lara for the longest, in fact. Oh hey, I can pick up this dude Reno's gun. I forgot that was a thing. I only have my pistols and I can pick up other guns from the guys I kill. This is a uh, this is a thing. But uh way back in the classical Tomb Raiders, every other well, uh, every single instance, every every Tomb Raider had a new voice actress for Lara, and it changed constantly. The voice actress kept changing constantly, and this one, the voice actress of the Lara in Tomb Raider Legends, uh, Anniversary and Underworld, she's the longest actress. She she was here for three games. Although the the new girl for Tomb Raider. Do I have grenades? I don't have grenades. Oh, I can shoot this. Okay. The voice actress for the new Tomb Raider, she's been doing two games, and as soon as she does the third game, she'll be in the series for quite some time as well. Also, there was supposed to be a cutscene in here, there wasn't. This is just so we know there's a trap in here, so we can jump across. Quickly, quickly and easily. Also, I play this game quite a lot. There's a shitload of secrets in each level, but I never got around to finding all of them. So, I will miss secrets. Because getting all the secrets sometimes requires you to play the game multiple times, the level multiple times, because 
After you cross a certain threshold in the level, you can't go back anymore. And the not being able to go back would... Uh... Yeah? Would uh, block certain areas away. So I wasn't able to go back and get all the secrets. So yeah, possibly areas have already passed. I can't go back and get the secrets. So I will be missing a lot of secrets if you if you're if you're here to watch me get all of them. That will not happen. Also, hey Nathan, welcome to the stream. I'm playing some modern Tomb Raider today. There we go. Why predators attack prey larger than themselves is a mystery. And a pity. Boom. thing I like in this game, uh, the the support team for Lara, Zip and Lannister, they keep, they are super shatter boxes, they keep talking all the day, and they are, they are actually pretty funny sometimes, and they give you a lot of uh, nice insight and information about the game, Lara uh, and everything else, that's cool. Also, Nathan, yes, I'm still killing furry things. That's the gist of this game, pretty much. Kill all the, the furry things. Endlessly. And also the non-furry things, because there's a shitload of uh, mercenaries in this game as well. And press E to engage or disengage the rad mode of the binoculars, which shows me interactable things. What a remarkable contraption! That's a mechanism. That's something I could move. So this gives me insight into the things around. Like, hey, you can move these, you can interact with that. And it was a way to make sure the games, don't, the gamers don't, don't get uh, stuck in areas. And the second, in the anniversary one, they added a journal on Underworld. I don't even know how what they did on Underworld. There is a tiger in here, a jaguar. It shows up as soon as I go down. And here it is, it's just waiting for me. You sneaky, sneaky bastard. Ow. And you picked an unfortunate place to hunt. You died much faster than your friend. But uh, yeah, I got this game. As soon as it released, I got it from for the PS2. Had a lot of fun playing this one. It was it was amazing because even after I was done with this game, I went back to get all the secrets, and I did the same thing with all Tomb Raider so far. Well, except on the world because fuck on the world. I've played uh, the new Tomb Raider 2013 and Rise of the Tomb Raider. Until I got almost all, if not all, of the secrets and unlockables and things you can find around. And I don't know why I do that, I guess the whole... Somehow, for me, the whole Tomb Raiding experience is super enjoyable and I really like it. Same thing with Uncharted, I really like the whole Uncharted going around exploring, picking up things up and whatnot. Although Uncharted...
Although we've uncharted, it's kind of... It's kind of not so super fun to go back for secrets because... The game doesn't... doesn't give you much for going after the secrets. Gives you a little thing here and there, but it doesn't... Goes all the way. There was a secret to this. Oh yeah, I have to place this box there and then go... Also, is this game lagging? It, it seems to be lagging. Weirdly. This game is too old. It should be lagging. Weird. But then again, this is the most graphically intensive part of this level. Also, no, stop. The cinematic, no, don't play it. Fucking hell. Well then. Okay, now it's back down. What I have to do is put in a thing there, and as soon as this thing rotates enough, I go here, pick this one out, that so it doesn't finish going all the way up. And suddenly, no more lag. What do you know? Weirdly, as soon as I look the other way, the game starts to lag like crazy. Okay, now this works. Go figure. Uh, yeah, in the Uncharted games, I really like them, but going around getting things is not as fun as it is in Tomb Raider. I don't know why. Whoever made Tomb Raider was really good at making the game replayable. And interesting. What? Now I go up here, and now that the door is only halfway, I can go up. I could, should have been able to. Oh yeah, I have to wait for it to go to go down because it's trying to go up and down. I have to wait for it to go down. Ow. To be able to get the the to get the golden circuit for this level, I got it. It's the hardest one to find. It's normally in the worst place ever to get, and this is the first uh, uh this the what's it called? Quick time events. And it's super simple one even. And that's a pretty good shot of the silver secret of this level. I'm still breathing, yes. And now you now you know. We have to go down and get a secret. And if you do replay this this level later, in that scene the secret won't be there. Ow. It's pretty dynamic, which is cool. Despite Tomb Raider being cool to replay, to get all the secrets and whatnot, it's still somehow... That's the room I just escaped from. Uh, I wish they added some sort of replayability to the game. On the original Tomb Raider, getting all the secrets, even after the game was done, was fun. I, I don't know how to explain why it was fun, I just know it was. But in this one, going back for all the secrets, I mean, on Rise of the Tomb Raider, going back for all the secrets isn't as fun. It's the center of the evil Cobrac Empire. None of this appears in any of the literature. Oh, come on, uh. If that's 
the case, it's not a sign they are keen on witnessing. Actually, let's go a little bit further. See if uh, now I can make this jump. No, I can't. But the way forward is somewhere else. Yeah, and the the replayability in Tomb Raider, right? The Rise of the Tomb Raider. I I I don't know. Maybe if they had more of those challenge tombs you could do every now and then, I feel like that could improve the replay value of the game in a way. But then again, it's not like those are easy nor fast to, to do and then again there's so there's so many of those you can do before eventually run out of things to put in the game and here's the end of the level <laughs> Laura's is sneaking around with a gigantic flashlight attached to her this doesn't work for you as well as she, as she think it does. Uh, Nathan, too much surviving and not enough tombs. Uh, yes, I guess the... Uh, I played lately Breath of the Wild and I really loved how... How he had those shrines you had to get. They were super short. But you had to keep finding them and solving them, and that was. And that was super cool. Also, plot. Also, hey Neku, welcome to the stream. I'm playing Tomb Raider Legend today. What's this noise? Oh, weird. of this. Is this what led you here? Where did you find that? It doesn't matter. What's important is what it does. Do you know? What I know is my business. So you don't then. And that means you don't have a piece. Amanda said you were sloppy. You should have paid more attention to Paraiso. Amanda? Amanda's dead. What the hell do you know about Paraiso? We're done talking. They are done talking, you know what that means. It's time to play. Oh, whoa, look at this broken... textures and everything else. Okay, now you guys can die a little bit for now. Also... Ow. You die, you the over there die. Roll the way up there in the back and die as well. 
You, the Dorino, can die. Let me heal. I pressed the wrong button to heal. Where is everyone else? There's a dude here. It's just like, meh. I don't want to partake in this. Just let me be. <laughs> okay, you're dead. There is more than one. Father, you were right. Keep yourselves caffeinated, lads. We've some work ahead of us. But The, yeah, Breath of the Wild, you had to do a shitload of shrines and they actually meant something for the game. And Tomb Raider, you had challenged tombs, but they did nothing. So I'd, I'd be happy to see a new Tomb Raider uh, implementing more replayability into it, because those are awesome games, I really like them. Congratulations, you've unlocked things. Check them on the extras menu. Let's go to the next level. I haven't unlocked a time trial to attempt it, load the level from the main menu and select time trial as my difficulty. A new outfit and blah 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 blah. Shit loads of things. Mission prep for the next level. Uh, which is... We don't know. It's Craft Manor. Clara's house, it's certainly improved from the Square games of the PS1 era. You've heard of the Rutlands, right? From the States? Well, you just met the senator's youngest son, James Rutland. Went to West Point, and that's about all he's done. Call up the footage, please. Welcome home, Lady Croft. Will your hand luggage require emptying or filling? Winston, take a look at this. It's almost identical, just configured differently. Identical to what? Something I saw a long time ago in Nepal. Miles from any pre incan culture. And you believe this to be a fragment of the sword? What sword? Their, their eyes are so weird. Zip, I want you to find out what you can about this Rutland. Particularly where he is at the moment. Try Peru. You talked about Paraiso. He did imply there's information about the artifacts there. He said you've been to Paraiso. Well, what happened there? And who's Amanda? Alistair, go over these images and see what you can work out. Zip. Ring Anaya and see if she can meet me in Paraiso Saturday morning. Uh, Neku, <laughs> you wish you had a manor. Uh, yeah, but also you need a group of men to do things for you. They don't seem quite so keen on visitors these days. Well, hey, you're the one with the guns. You can't blame me for knowing how to accessorize. Any word from Anaya? She said she'd meet you at the statue in the marketplace. At least we'll have our privacy. And this new Lara for the Legend uh, trilogy, she's so cool. I really like her. The uh, next gen trilogy, in fact. They keep saying next gen, but it was on the PS2 as well. Except Underworld. Underworld was so flawed in so many ways. It's kind of even impressive. Also, I'm running on people's rooftops. I don't know if that's uh, polite. But uh, there might be secrets. They might be hiding se delicious secrets into their houses. I'm looking around for those. They do seem to, to have those. Also, uh, apparently I can grapple my way through. Uh, there we have some secrets, delicious secrets, and the ones in this level are different. Well, what did, do I use this box for? Getting back, I suppose. And when I first played this game, and I figured out we could do this spin and jump thing. I kept doing that all all time. Like non-stop. Because it's so fucking cool to go around and see Lyra tumbling and doing this. But after 
I don't know when, randomly I watched an episode of Lazy Town, I guess, and there was these people who entered the scenes by doing these tumblings as well, and I saw, okay, that's not as cool as I thought it was. It's actually not cool at all. Uh, Neku, the same par par paraiso keeps reminding you of Bayonetta, even so it's paradiso. The avoided cat, her, her texture failed. Uh, yeah, I guess that this game has a shitload of issues. It's from 2006, so it's more than 10 years old. And uh, Neku, you have meant to do stuff for you. It's Haran the name. <laughs> and she became Diana dos Santos there. Because, yeah, if you keep pressing the crouch button or the jump button, you do things like this. And you can go endlessly. Although, it kind of requires a little bit of finesse and timing to execute it properly. But it's super cool nonetheless. And there's this dude Reno here, I can... I can... Test my skills, my... My combat skills on this dude. Because for whatever reason, the... Peruvian people have set up this dummy They have set up this dummy to... I don't know, they set it up And this is a little tutorial, I can completely ignore this and go ahead There is fruits in here, but they are super boxy not so very good. But anyway, fruit. And let's keep going. Buy the meat. And me doing that when? Never! I'm, I'm, I'm fat. I'm too fat to go around tumbling. You realize that the streets were not deserted a moment ago. And I've been trying so hard to blend in. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing here. Just a heap of pottery shards, littered with the bodies of old friends. If I knew this would work, I'd never have to do it. Yet here you are. La Paz is not so far away. Neither is the park. Neku, if you can't tumble it, just roll. So yeah, the thing I can... Apparently I can simply lay down on the ground and keep rolling, like a dog. Also, boom goes the, the, the thing. Ow. So I keep tumbling like this, and the enemies are like, why? <laughs> why don't you fight like a normal human being? Also, <laughs> the combat in this game is so cool when you manage to execute it properly. But when you don't, holy shit. You look like a complete, like a complete spat. And where are the dudes coming from? Also, Lara has shit aim in this game. It's super easy for her to miss attacks and jumps and whatnot. Actually, uh, this game requires you to go back and collect shit from the from the piperinos you you've been killing so far. Eh, shit. So if I want more ammunition, I have to go and collect it from the bodies of my enemies. Ow! And grenades. Now finally I get grenades. I think those people are killing themselves with those. And this door was supposed to be open. Now it is. Ow. Oh, 
wow, this game plays and moves and does everything so much worse than I remembered. I guess I really had fond memories of this game because it doesn't hold up that well. So, would you click quickly die, please? You guys are ruining my Peruvian vacations. Ow! Also, I'm really littering the streets with with weaponry and whatnot. Can you imagine the Peruvian kids are gonna? After all this is done, they're gonna come out to the streets and see like, look mom, there's grenades and weaponry and a truck and a shitload of thing, things these dudes dropped. Can we, can we, can we play with them? Thank uh, you, you're telling me to get good. I used to be better at this game, I actually used to speedrun this every now and then. But... Uh, okay, this is... This is concerning, there's uh, an invisible wall right here. And the game didn't even bother putting in a fence. Like, how hard is that? Game. Why do you do this? Crystal Dynamics, don't, don't be lazy now. But, uh, anyway. I, I, had, I had fun growing up with this game, it was super cool. In fact, I've, I, Tell her I'm on my way. I've played every single Tomb Raider there is, and now the obligatory uh, driving section of the game, the worst thing ever to happen. In this game because these are awful to control and you die in a single hit sometimes but uh, yeah I played all Tomb Raider games there is pretty much I played all the classic Tomb Raiders never to completion but I played them nonetheless uh, I missed that and I even played the mobile Tomb Raiders there's a uh, Tomb Raider for the Game Boy Color, there's one for the Game Boy Advance. There's many Tomb Raiders around. And those Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light and the Temple of Osiris. The those spin-offs, I I got to play them as well. Ow! You asshole! And now I got in this. Eh. Also, I'm out of uh, healing shenanigans. Uh, I got the Tomb Raider. Actually, not Tomb Raider. The Lara Croft Go. Which was an Android uh, title originally, and it came out to PC with bonus levels. I actually played the Android version. I finished it. it was fun. Ow! And uh, I heard there is new levels, so I got it to PC to play it in high resolution. I thought about playing that after I'm done with these these ones. After I'm done with Underworld Legend Anniversary Underworld, I'll play Tomb, Tomb Raider Go and then finally we'll get to the 2013 re-release. And there we go. Now another section. In case you guys didn't know this, this map is looping. This bridge was the checkpoint. Now it's uh after two or three loops, um, this section will be over. Ow. 
Also, I have grenades, but I don't think I can use the grenades in here. Now, look at Lara's aim. It's shit. She can't aim for shit in this game. But then again, I'm, I'd imagine that trying to shoot people while... Uh, shoot people while you're riding a bike. Uh, however many kilometers per hour she's going. It's not an easy job. But at least they they upped their their skybox game because look at those mount mountains there in the background. They actually look good compared to the super low resolution pictures they had on the Tomb Raider 2. Ow! <laughs> I should not have exploded a barrel, I was super close to it. And yeah. This level is awful. It's a mandatory vehicle level, but I don't like it at all. I always had issues getting past this, this level because it's random. Most of the time. Would you die, please? Thank you. But in any case, I'm guessing that someone on the development team thought, Hey, this is gonna look awesome in the game. I guess they didn't playtest this one quite, a, quite enough. Okay. Ow. And okay, the loops are over. We're finally making progress. Actually, no, never mind. Maybe there's another loop. Uh, no, I'm actually past that loop now. I'm, I'm up for this uh, part of the level, which is a loop of trucks. Uh, Mercs. They're dropping things on me. <coughs> After I kill that dude, Reno, if I can, I, if I can only hit him, if only, that's a dream, the far-fetched dream. But then again, to be fair, I did set the difficulty too hard, so I feel that here and there are the least that would have happened to me. And now, for whatever reason, that was much faster. And she has a nice Ducati motor bike. Which is which is weird because I do remember I when I got the game for the PS2. On the back cover, there was like, oh, this is a new Lara adventure and whatnot. There was some logos for okay. We use some proper property uh, technologies such as DVD and some other things. And for whatever reason, in the back cover there was the logo for Ducati because they needed to put the logo because it was using. There's something I didn't tell you. They are using uh, copyrighted things. Is that what this is about? Closure. Isn't that what it's all about? Why we dig up the past? To understand it? I am an engineer, Lara. I build for the future. I don't dwell in the past. You will someday. Eventually everyone does. An obligatory flashback level. Would you just get down here? 
And for everyone, this was probably. It was probably the coolest thing, this throwback to classical Lara with her classical outfit. Hey. Super fun. Press K to throw a flare. Press and hold it to throw the flare farther. Oh, that's a mechanic for this level. Forgot. And then that happens and things start to get creepy, like really creepy in this game. Let's ignore your dead body for just a moment and solve this puzzle because this is what this game is about. Oh, come the fuck on, please. Would you move, box? Would you stop getting caught on the floor? Actually, yeah. okay, this was traps, but it wasn't caught on them, so that's good. Yeah. And these hand signs that keep showing up every now and then is because I miss grabbed the thing. Hurry, we've got to get out of here. Also, they still didn't figure out how to make mounts move. These Dudorinos are still head bobbing their way into conversations, in and out of conversations. As you guys can see, activating this trap was in a shitload of spikes. You stay here with this dead Uderino. I'm gonna solve puzzles somewhere. Go, Flare. Ow. Okay. Okay. They just need to jump to get this rope. What do I need to do to get the rope? I go in. Yes, I grab it. Uh, Neko, you're quiet, but it's still watching. Uh, shooting, good to know. Stay there, Kent. I'm coming down. Amanda. Amanda. It's her. Wait, Kent. Kent! Oh, so that's a thing. The game makes you play this whole part. Eh. And more balls, I need more balls. Don't remember why, just remember I need to push it down. Okay, this is why. Eh. <laughs> okay, you come back here. You silly bitch. And Chandler, you're doing language study right now. Uh, what's it today, Russian or Spanish? Also, uh, have any of you ever played this game before? RIP Kent. There's something. I don't. I don't know what it was. I. I only saw. No! Bobby! People are dying. 
Uh, Cheddar, today you're doing both Spanish and Russian, that's cool. Now, maybe it's time you pick up a, ter a fourth language to study. Get to it. And uh, Neku, no, you want to play good games. You little. We're not friends anymore. You can't go around saying things like that. It hurts my feeling. It hurts my. It hurts my dog feelings. I think this stone unlocks the door. I don't like it. Are you sure you're reading it properly? That thing is coming. You have a better idea. The door might be trapped. We're trapped. Uh, oh God! Run, Amanda, run! Come, Amanda! With these are feet, and come with me! Just, just that so you guys know, in this brief moment, you had enough time to go get the stone to, to just release from the from the wall and put it around her neck. Oh wow. R.I.P. Amanda. And Chandler, from the very little that you heard, Portuguese sounds like a mix between Spanish and Russian. How even? To be honest, I think this is a terrible idea. Everyone agreed to leave things as they were. I will as much as I can. But from what Rutland said, I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother. I have to go back. There's no use trying to enter at the same point. It's caved in. The river had to get in there somehow. I'll leave you to figure out the how. I can't go down there. I'm sorry. It's fine, really. If there's any trouble, call Zip and he'll catch you through. Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. So, how are you getting in? The same way as the water, I hope. If you get a call from Anaya, patch her through straight away. I'm a little concerned about leaving her by herself. I'll keep her company. And uh, how even, I don't think it sounds like Russian at all, but maybe there's words or the way uh, sentences are structured. Maybe that's what you meant. Also, no, I want to use these. How did it go again, G? I have feelings that maybe one of these boxes has secrets in them. Tasty, tasty secrets. Maybe not. Uh, Sam, you have not played it, but you saw someone do it. Also, hey Vito, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Neku, Amanda, more like I'm, I'm Martha. Oh, you, you silly goose. And uh, Vito, you didn't see that coming. Uh, have you not played this game before? This, this one is awesome, you should have played it. Uh, I think it's actually better than Anniversary and Underworld, especially better than Underworld. Also, would you look at this um, water that's perfectly reflecting the, 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 the ceiling? Like, it's so eerily reflecting that I don't even... That is, like, can I even dive in there? And Chandler, Portuguese has the smoothness of Russian, but still sounds like firm, like Spanish. Let's see. And not the sound of the words themselves, but rather the texture of the words. Now you sound like you smoke some of that good, good stuff. Should <laughs> be just talking about 
such things. And Vito, you actually did play before, but it was on the PS2. And it's same. It's the same thing as the PC. It's probably just a little bit uh, more polished because of the you know the next generation graphics. The next generation that uh, was a couple generations ago, maybe. Also, lots, lots and lots of uh, little checkpoints here and there to make sure I catch some, some of that sweet, sweet air for a drown or bad things happen. But at least controlling Lara in this game is delicious compared to the first ones. And Chandler, the reflection is too perfect, so it looks fake as fuck. And yeah, it doesn't even look like there's water at all. I thought that was a huge ass hole. Apparently, I was mistaken. Okay, now you're here in the shenanigans. Nathan, tell if tell if flat the what this water is. Yeah, oh, I gotta. Do that, then I quickly swim to the other, this other bowl of blue things. Wow, this game has so many bugs, I don't remember this game being so buggy like this. <laughs> and Chandler going into lurking mode again, sure thing. Thanks for gracing us with your presence, nonetheless. Now down goes the water. The fake ass water. Is that what I think it is? An all star, yes. Also, look at how damp Lara is. It's super moist. I'm dripping like crazy. Or was. So where do I go? Way back here it would seem. Also, more cutscenes. I just had a cutscene, but let's get another. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his star, an object of great power. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly after. She was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King Arthur myth. Yes, the similarities are striking. King Arthur? A little healthier? It's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical star for a sword. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one too. And playing this game for the first time, I was so into this lore and this and this backstory this game has. It was really fascinating coming from Tomb Raider 2 with the stereotypical Ita Italian goons to to this it is well fleshed well sort of more or less well fleshed story and plot and video plus you told me you, i told you to play the first reboot series of tomb raider 
And you thought all of the games in that series was also good. <clears throat> uh, yeah. The... Uh, Tremors. The Legend Anniversary and Underworld are the first reboot. Then for some reason Chrysler Dynamics made another reboot. The 2013 Tomb Raider. Also, this quick quick time events. I don't see why they need to exist. Nice footwork. Why, thank you. Wow, this place is amazing. Might be a good place to use the rad mode of your binoculars. You could be right. Maybe you could be right. Yes. Uh, Nathan, yeah, much more plot. Indeed. Uh, I skipped some games, what about the last revelation or the other? Um, today, uh, earlier, I tried playing those. The Queen's Shaman. And for some reason my computer was... Or in this case, Viticoach's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one place. But possibly. So the Shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. Um, I tried playing Last Revelation because it was the only one, plot one. Because Tomb Raider 3 had a very just go and plunder things kind of plot. Chronicles is Chronicles, pretty much. And Angel of Darkness, I also tried playing that one, but it didn't work as well, so... I skip all of those. Well, I had to. I couldn't, I couldn't play them. I tried. I actually tried. So yeah, I skipped those. I hope you guys don't mind. I'll try to look into what might have gone wrong and try to play them eventually, but for now, let's play some Tomb Raider Legends. And I don't even know why it didn't work. Tomb Raider, uh, the last revelation, it seemed to. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Last revelation seemed to have a problem with the, the screens, the displays. If I tried opening the game on my other display, my smaller screen, the game would. Uh, the game would not show at all on the on OBS and it would not update, I would not be able to play it I mean oh come on Lama, please grab onto things uh, bah. Bah, bah, bah. and the uh, the only solution I found to it was either playing the game on the oh, not this cutscene again. Wow, that must have impressed the villagers back then. I know it impresses me. And I had to go. And put the game on the main screen I have in here. That's okay. Problem is... Oh, please, why don't you grab the thing? Wow, oh, please, please, please. Oh well, let's do this again, I guess. I don't know why the game doesn't checkpoint you once you get up there. Like this is an easily missable jump. <coughs> oh well. Uh, Nathan, the Angel of Darkness was one of your favorites. That must have impressed the villagers back then. 
Yeah, I actually wanted to play it, but he, Angel of Darkness, he had the problem with... Uh, I don't even know, actually. I clicked to open the game and it just gave me a, a error code. Oh, there's a ball in here. I didn't see this one, sorry. Uh huh. Actually, I think that's a secret. Possibly. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, Lara, go down. Go down the stairs, Lara. Why won't you? Yeah. And. And Leo. There is a there is a ball there. Yeah, it took me a while, but I saw it. Sorry, it took me so much, but I got it. So let's just skip this cutscene. Can I skip this cutscene? Doesn't seem like I can. I skip this one. Yes, I can. The shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. And I have to press this thing here. Sorry, Leo. With the whole uh, of the thing. And Vito, hey Doug, where's my shiny toys? Uh, I had deleted the the picture because I didn't think I was gonna be playing any more of the classical Tomb Raiders. For these more modern Tomb Raiders, I was thinking about doing another picture, but uh. I started playing, actually I started to play Monster Hunter today, but uh, I played Monster Hunter for like 20 minutes and decided, hey, now I want to play Tomb Raider. So I didn't get around to doing a new, oh sorry, can I go up there? No, I can't go up there. I need something else to help me get up there. Go figure. Oh. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's what happened, and that's why I don't have uh, the the icon anymore. And Nathan, no, don't do not skip cutscenes. Uh, I skipped that one cutscene because I already saw it. I saw that cutscene, then I I got up there, and then I died, and that's why I'm skipping this cutscene. I already saw it. Now I don't remember where to go. Let's see. My binoculars, they have the rad mode. You could move that. Which is rad. So there's no balls in there and that thing over there. Game says nothing about that. But I truly believe that the way forward is going up, so let's do that. I played this game actually so much though that I, that I, most puzzle solutions I do remember them. This one though, uh, either I'm really missing this jump or I don't remember the solution at all. But I have a feeling that it is going that way. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe what I have to do is raise the sacred cow statue or something. It's so light. I can cross it. No, this is not it then. But yeah. With Tomb Raider, uh, the Angel of Darkness, I don't know exactly what was going on. But as soon as I opened the game, it gave me a error. I can't even try to troubleshoot it because it just says, hey, you got the generic error. And I have no idea how to, how to tackle that. So, 
I could try and play Chronicles, but I... That's not entirely the game you wanna go for, especially if you're skipping other games. So instead I came to Tomb Raider Legends. I'll see if I can get the other ones going and then we'll be back to these. To the to anniversary. Okay, I really think that the way forward... Ah, there it is! I found the little thing! Look at me being a silly, silly little bitch and not finding this golden shenanigan all the way up there. Okay, now we have all, all the balls. Let's solve the puzzle. Uh, Leo, <clears throat> what do you do with a dog with three balls? I don't know. What do you do with a dog with three balls? Enlighten me. Also, what is? The display, isn't it? Oh, got it. The sounds that keep playing is the lantern when it's about to run out. I thought it was some crazy, crazy bullshit with the game. Look at her. She's beautiful. We were so close before. So close. Oh, wonderful, Lara. Do you notice anything from the That's what Rutland was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. My god. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before. At Wasabi University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay. Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. Oh, they're coming. And I have to go out now. And Leo, you walk him and pitch to the rhino. I wasn't keeping track of Anaya. I got distracted. She seems safe for now. It's all right. Just let me know if our mercenary friends get any closer to her. Got it. Uh, yep. I suppose I'll have to take the high road back. But, um. Yeah, Leo, I didn't get the joke. Sorry. Uh, nice one, Lara says Vito. Yeah. And here we go. Back to the killing of people. I'm really... I really lost my touch with this game. Also, this game seems to be riddled with bugs. I wonder if something... of the computer. Kill them, hooray. And this is how we go back with this amazing rope of climbiness. And oh, I didn't let them finish the conversation. Um, yeah, sorry, actually, didn't. 
What's the way forward? Upwards, rather. All the way here. Also, hey, Walter, welcome to the stream. You thought it was Monster Hunter Day. Uh, initially, it was. But I didn't feel like playing Monster Hunter today. Rather, I felt like playing Tomb Raider. Because I had fun finishing Tomb Raider 2. I wanted to play even more Tomb Raider. Although, unfortunately, the older ones were not working because they are old. So we're playing Tomb Raider Legends today, which is this classical one. Full of funny and sassy quips from Lara and her friends. Which is cool and all. But, um... I can climb faster by doing this. The where are they with the grenades and the such? Oh, there's a dude here. Also, I can't shoot when I'm crouched. That's bad design. Have you still got an eye on the other line? Yeah. Tell her to get under the jeep. Someone's coming. That's it for this level. I hope you found what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. He didn't want to see you, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right, then. I'm heading there straight away. I need to find something to wear, though. And yeah, I finished this one level as well. I got things, I didn't get as many secrets, but we're getting there. Um, uh, Walter, it sounds good. I think I'm, I'm glad you, you approved the idea of more tomb raiding. And Viro, alright, uh, they drained the water. And it, yeah, it was Lara who did. And no worries though. It's <laughs> Look at her face, she looks so spooked. Like, <laughs> like she really doesn't want to go. And yeah, I really like I really liked in this game how everyone's so quirky and and sassy in the way they, they, they keep talking and doing quips. But uh, eventually I realized that this kind of nobody talks like this. It's it's movie talk pretty much. Nobody who talks like just in japes and quips and whatnot. This is not how you hold a conversation. Uh, this makes good entertainment, but after uh, after a while, you start to you start to feel like mm, this isn't real people. It's just a game and actors and crazy writers. But and that's what I like so much about the new Tomb Raiders. They're like they're so relatable and so humane, like humane in the way the characters are, not humane in the way you die and things happen. But uh, in any case, I'll take a quick short break, just a couple minutes to get some coffee, and I'll be right back, you guys. In the meanwhile, uh, you guys can watch Lara walk forward in the 
the screen of nastiness that she has the spookiest look on her face and I'll be right back and thank you Walter my channel my games but still it's uh, but you're the guys who are here here viewing the, the scene I really appreciate it and Vito the tomb the tomb tomb pun I don't even know how to say this the tomb tomb pun was classic this is a confusing one, I'll now get, and I get to it when I come back. Be right back everyone. Hey everyone, I'm back! <coughs> and I have coffee with me! So I'll let this cutscene run and then I'll get on to the why. Into some language lessons with you guys. What exactly happened last time you and Takamoto got together? He was trying to pass off forged relics from the Asuka period, and conventional reason doesn't work. <sighs> Let him go. And now we're going to have a useful conversation. It's turned out quite nicely. <clears throat> so the reason got a call from Nishimura. He's in his office, so he won't be mingling. The bartender will hook you up with him though. Ever predictable. Look at this. Nice looking Lara. This party. Full of what the hell? Her hair just 
floats. This is not how hairs work at all. Oh, game, you need to learn how people work as well. <clears throat> Let me tell I'll be here and judge, judge these dancing women. And let's get you some languages lesson. <clears throat> that sentence, the tomb pun was classic. It feels weird to say that because in Portuguese, the O's, they have the sound O. So if I were to read that in Portuguese, I would read the tomb pun was classic. But in English, you go and say the tomb pun. It's really, uh, really not good for your brain. Let's talk to the butt right there. I believe Nishimura-san is expecting me. Ah, Lady Croft. He is in his office down the hall behind you. I will let him know you're coming. Thank you. Um, the hall behind me. Let's go there. And this is super cool, in fact, this whole civic, <coughs> this whole civic um, environment in the Tomb Raider game. Welcome, Lara. You have been enjoying my little party. When Takamoto arrives, however, it may cause you some inconvenience. Take care. He is a very dangerous man when his interests differ from yours. You'd be amazed how persuasive I can be, even with dangerous men. I am convinced. I am dangerous to you, remember. But please, enjoy the night in my and good luck. And Sam, you agree with me? It really, so, really sounds weird. demands on my time, you understand? Of course, Takamoto-san. I am looking for a piece, a sword fragment, in the care of Waseda University, or it was until you stole it. <laughs> I am not a thief, and you would be wise to avoid such accusations. Then I suggest we skip to the negotiations. I don't have any idea what you are talking about. Of course you do. Just name a price. Miss Croft. Are you deaf? I don't know. Let's see. Try begging for your life like you did the last time we spoke. <laughs> and now we're back to combat. Combat Lara. Doubt return to his penthouse. Do not follow him, Lara. His men will be waiting. This lobby's a death trap. I know you're into those, but it's not really a winning option. If I can't go down, I'll go up. How do I get to the roof? The roof? There is an elevator. Be cautious. There is construction above. I don't know about this, Lara. That's why we have to view the problem from a different angle. <coughs> The roof. Nishimura gave me the path to the left, and I'm on my way. Also, hey, avoided the cat. She has, she has the body of a Barbie, and she really does. It's kind of eerie in a way. And his eyes. What's wrong with his eyes? Uh, yes, everyone, but Lara has weird eyes. I found. I don't know why. A little wonder there. And Sam, you're not sure if that can be taken as a compliment. Here. 
and such is supposed to be a compliment. The body measurements of a Barbie are actually impossible for the human body. And yeah, the, another e reason why I like the more modern games so much, they are realistic in a, in a good way. And Sam, yeah, you know that you watched a lot of videos about the body and health. I have not. Place for a bike. <laughs> and a nice one too. Huh. Well, it's a crime to keep a bike like that locked up on a roof. But I did study some anatomy and All right. That building across the street, that's Takamoto's. He's likely to be on the top floor. This is going to require some creativity. And look at this, such a nice backdrop. Those cars are crossing each other, but uh, you're, you're not supposed to look at that. You're just supposed to see cars coming and going and be like, okay, that's a, that's an actual city. Besides, they're moving JPEGs, they're sprites moving. They're not actual models. But yeah, I did study some anatomy and indeed bodies are not supposed to look like that. It's not a party until something gets broken. In any case, uh, let's proceed. Yep. Yeah, this whole Tomb Raider, this new Tomb Raiders, this was more supposed to be a this sort of action action movie sort of entertainment. It's not supposed to be realistic in any way. It's just supposed to make you be like, "Huh, puns." Um, I don't remember the name of the movie, but there are there's an old 80s movie, I think, with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was pretty much all puns as well. And the whole idea of the movie is... It's pretty much just an action movie filled with puns, just so people will go like, ha ha ha. Okay, this is fun. And not have to think too hard about the actual things that are happening, the conversations the characters are, are having. <clears throat> and just being like, okay, this is a movie, and I, I don't want something crazy and elaborate. I just want to get entertained. Also, this game is so riddled with bugs. I don't remember none of these clipping bugs the, f the first time I played this game. Also, why did they bring this box down? I don't know. I think it was just, a, just a so I could see those boxes are movable, I guess. I actually have no idea why I went through the motion of bringing this box down, I guess. It wasn't really necessary. But, uh, in any case, let's go. Uh, avoided cat, the last action hero. That's 1993. And avoid the camp, yeah, but isn't that the one I'm talking about? Um, the one I'm thinking about, I think it may be Cliffhanger. Uh, I don't even know the name of the movie. Uh. But there is a scene where there's where there's Arnold and this other guy in uh, an airplane and then he kills the guy and he's dead and he puts on some glasses on, on the guy's face and so the people won't realize he's dead and then when a flight attendant comes by he goes like, shh, be quiet uh, don't wake up my friend, he's dead tired or something like that and 
that's a silly movie pun, and the whole movie is puns like that. And same thing with with this Tomb Raider, it, it tries to be like that. To be all punsy. And... There we go. Bye. Um, yeah, just jump here and slide down. We. Then we make this very dangerous jump across. But... Come on, Lara, please aim at the thing. But, oh, yeah, I have to jump. <laughs> To grapple it. Okay, that makes sense. And up in here we are, and let's keep doing more very dangerous and very possibly not healthy jumps. Well. More do the Renos. Ow. What the hell am I shooting these things for? They don't explode at all. Uh, Sam, cleaning elevators, cleaning window elevators, are a classic of old action movies. <coughs> yeah, maybe they changed in more recent times. I think that the last mindless action movie I watched wasn't even that mindless. I think it was Adrenaline is the name of the movie. Where are they? It's not like they don't know you're there. You'll see them when I do. The movie where the guy has to keep his heartbeat pounding really fast or else he'll die. And that's a pretty mindless action movie. But it got a sequel eventually, and I didn't watch the sequel. But I, I'm, I'm thinking it's the same thing. Eh, hey, it's not the way to go, Lara. What are you doing? Let's tumble around. <laughs> we think the best when we are tumbling and the world is spinning. In fact, imagine something like Mirror's Edge, where, where the cameras keep spinning around crazy, crazily. And. It's in first person, so it's like you're tumbling and everything's spinning. And you're like, oh god, why? Also, this wasn't the way forward, this was just for the secrets. I guess. What is the way, way forward, even? Or I only had to go to the upper floor and <laughs> get out through the doors. Maybe. But yeah, maybe that's that's what I had to do. Um Oh hey dudes. Dudes are speaking in Japanese, so at least they, they are trying to be accurate. Also this. There's no way Lara can simply run to a guy, slide and make him fly this high. It just doesn't happen as well. Also, this is what I have to do. I have to. 
We have to push this. Uh, controllers, bad controllers, whoops. She's never cared for TV much. She did them a favor. Maybe now they'll read a book for a change. And there is more to the reels in here that we have to kill. Ow. Also, maybe I should be using more grenades, but the, the grenade button is so far away, I have to set it to, to, to an easier button. Or change. So there might be secrets around here, like there, all the way here. Expect this, this little Buddha dude. <coughs> uh, Vito, trying to look for the film I was talking about, what's the pun again? Uh, nah. Don't worry, I'm, I'm just mentioning that's the kind of movie that had these sort of puns and... Those are action movie tropes and this game is trying too hard to be one of those. While still being a Tomb Raider. So that's good. Because it's mindless action and things and... That's fun and all. You don't need to think too hard for those. But eventually, uh, you can do a whole series of that. Eventually you have to stop and say, okay, we need to go to a di direction, we can't do this forever. What a lovely evening to be outside. Also, call some. Max, welcome to the stream. Also, that spasmy monitor all the way up there. Wee, 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 rotate and spin and jump. How do I go up? All the way there. I wonder why are these monitors spasm me so bad. You can actually see there, all the way in the corner here, the texture going crazy bananas. Like I said, I didn't realize before how how badly this game is. That or the computer version is really, really fucked up. Way, way fucked up. Anyway. But yeah, it's just that. Those action movies are good, but if you wanna make a series out of it, you can't really. Which is the problem with this Tomb Raider. Uh, they did this game, then they did Anniversary and they tried to make Underworld. And they didn't have that good a history for Underworld. They had, okay, it's an action movie game thing trope. What? Heights don't bother me, Alistair. They make me positively nauseous. Like I told her in Bolivia. I'll try my best to keep my chin up, but I do need to concentrate, if you don't mind. And knowing that it's an action game. We they didn't have many ideas of where else to go with this. So Underworld was kind of kind of flawed as a game compared to the others. Also, more dudes to kill. A murderize, pretty much. Also, Lara, why don't you aim up? Ow! Ow! There we go. Also, there's a medipack hidden. Fuck. All the way back there. Okay, I murderized an entire building of people. At this point. Uh, Clawsome, you love Lara Croft. I'm glad you do, because... 
I hope that mo mo the most of us, if not all of us, do as well. And also, welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying this game. And all the others. Is there something in here? There. There's nothing in here. There is a little Buddha dude hidden in there. Uh huh. We got a secret. And Nathan, they have some experimenting with question what Lara is. And he answered exactly. Can I grapple this? Can I shoot this? There's many ways to avoid these traps. One way is to use the ball, another is to use that thing, the water, the sprinklers, so you can see the laser. But in the end, this is the easiest way to go. But yeah, in these games, they went like Lara Croft is this adventure. She goes around for money and. Alright, not money, but she goes around exploring the world just because, just because she can. That's her thing. But eventually we start asking the question of where does Lara come from and then who are Lara's parents and this whole game is trying to answer that. This is my province, not one of your rotten little tombs. Tell me about the sword, Takamoto. What about it? What is it that fascinates you, Ms. Croft? Let me have a look at it and I'll tell you. Your persistence will be the death of you. Ow! This is how the game decided to start, apparently. Also, yeah, jumping on... Catching him. Jumping on people's faces is the way to go. Up you go, now come back. There we go, now we murderized a few more people. There is a box in here. And many weapons. The thing I'm gonna do is push this box down. You can push it through here because there's a little ledge, so, but I can't push it through the place where the dragon was. In the meanwhile, Clawson, she's an adventurous archaeologist. She follows in her father's footsteps sometimes as he was a famous archaeologist. Uh, yeah, for these old games it was, that. Actually, rather. For the first few games we never even got a glimpse of Lara's family. It was in these games that we got to see, okay, their parents are... Well, Lara's father is an, a brilliant archaeologist and somehow he died because Lara's mother, she, well, that's a spoiler, but pretty much she died and he was convinced that she didn't die and they went to try and find her, like her father was like super determined to find Lara's mom. And... And then he goes and figures out what's wrong with her, but nobody believes in mytholo 
in mythology and magical things, so they ridicule, rid ridicule him, and that's what happens, he falls into disgrace. If you don't mind, I'll streamline your inventory. You speak of this? It is the most prized of my collection. And why is that? I am fond of recovering objects from dead Englishmen. In this case, one of your crusaders. Some have even said the warmonger was one of your King Arthur's knights. I do not know how the fool came by it. Or it is clearly far older than the 11th century, when your people lived in huts of mud. And for this reason, you'd rather die than hand it over? No. For this one! Ow. I don't remember this level having turrets at all. Okay, let's just skip this, this cutscene. Get right to it. This dude is super annoying to fight. There we go. This is when the Tell him he's my new favorite person. This is when the story starts to pick up. You see that there's magic involved and your father was right. There is magic involved in how your mother uh, came to disappear pretty much. This was it for the Tomb Raider Legend and Underworld, pretty much, but in the new Tomb Raiders, uh, 2013 and uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, it was sort of the same thing, but slightly different. Her father wasn't that brilliant of an archaeologist, and her mom didn't die from magical shenanigans. It's a still a very weird. Uh, it's a still not super. Have we worked out what he's doing here? No, but there's something else. When I was going over the map, Winston said your parents have been there. Your dad worked the site before you were born. That's not so peculiar. It happens occasionally. Um, the new ones, the first Tomb Raider wasn't even. Uh, Lara's family wasn't even the main concern, it was how her how she survived she, her first adventure pretty much. The only second that started going into her parents' questions. And that's what I mucked up yesterday as well. The swan dive. 
Or at least a little complicated to pull off. See, I didn't... I fucked it up again. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense in how you go about pulling this one off. In any case... That's pretty much it for this game's history and whatnot. And I guess that's why the even after uh, yeah. <coughs> even after Tomb Raider 2013 and whatnot, they still went around and did the. Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light and the Temple of Osiris. It's because oh, that's where we put the temple. Grand entrances are always impractical. It's what makes them grand. Lara! You're a busy beaver, aren't you? Oh look! It's Rutland! Fancy dropping down for a chat then? Only if you can shoot this far. You know long distance relationships inevitably come to an end. I wish you luck with that, but, uh, you know. Alistair should really have a look at this. Are you still trying to figure out where these sword pieces originally came from? Just you and me for now. Also, hey! Shut up, Extreme. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Yep. Uh, yeah. They did these other new Tomb Raiders, uh, Guardian of Light and uh, Temple of Osiris, because people missed this, these more adventurous Tomb Raiders compared to these new ones we have got. But they kind of don't make part of the original series because someone decided it doesn't. Pretty much. And here's more water. So I think this game has a shitload of glitches because look at this water. It, it's not. It's wiggling way too much. Yep. I'm kind of unsure if I am supposed to grab the rope or not. Maybe I am. In another way. I don't know why this is happening, but there does seem to be many more glitches than than when I. The modern kind. Rutland's men must have been using it to move about. Fuck me. Oh, okay, I got it true. Okay. I've seen this before in my father's sketchbook. He has been here. And dudes already. Also fog. So Ooh. dead dudes. He's still about somewhere. Yeah. Not very effective for a trap. Not these days. Something must be jamming the works. And more to the Renos. So yeah, much unlike the first few games, this one is very action focused. And this this one has a very uncharted vibe to it as well. There's some exploration you do and then and then suddenly some shootouts with dudes then back to more action uh, exploration set pieces the more action and it goes back and forth between these this water will appear to be jammed we may never know what it does that pillar looks too heavy to move there's more than one of those for the and this game came in 2006 and I think the first Uncharted came in 2008 2008 or 2009 Mm, maybe 2000 and 
9, because I do remember it coming out the same year as Underworld. So maybe this game actually came and... Ooh. Oh boy, this bugs. And maybe this game was actually an inspiration for Uncharted. Who knows? There's also a huge possibility it wasn't. But who knows? Mm, Vito, no, the first Uncharted game came out in 2007. Are you sure? I I'm absolutely sure it didn't come out in 2007. I think it came out in 2009, but not 2007. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah. And I do know that. Actually, I think I should go up there. I do know that because 2007 uh, was when the first Assassin's Creed launched. And the second Assassin's Creed came out in 2009 as well. So, holy shit, this game is riddled with bugs. Maybe it's some option I enabled somewhere or something I did. It should not have this many bugs. And uh, it did. Uncharted 2 came out in 2009. And are you sure, Vito? I'm really sure. Maybe I'm remembering things pretty wrong. Also, is this right? Where is this water coming from game? This doesn't seem right. Also, hey, I think a uh, tigerino. <laughs> Ow. Or a leopard, rather. And. Voodoo the cat, that's a magic waterfall. Um. Yeah, I don't know, there is the. On the computer, the only different settings I have. That's different from when I first played this game way back in 2007. Um, is an option there is that enables or disables the the next gen content, which is the graphics. But it might be fucking up the game's engine because there's been new graphic card release ever since. A lot of things are different. I may have to do with that. Also, I missed this jump. Really screwed this one up. And I don't think I can back. Can well, apparently I can get back up. It's really nice of you, game. Thank you. Oh come on! Really, I have no idea why this game is bugging out so much. But it's a... it's a nightmare to play this game like this. Then... Let me try disabling the next genera... what? The next generation content on the optional menu real quick just to see what it does also game would you stop with the camera that changes please <laughs> this is not funny not at all and here we go okay, let's see 
If you go to options, um, display next generation content, it changes the game itself entirely. So theoretically, it's uglier. But hopefully, it won't be bugging out so much. And Vito, okay. Here's an education for me in game releases. Uncharted Drake's Fortune was released in 2007. Uncharted 2 was in, released in 2009. Uncharted 3 in 2011. And Uncharted 4 in six, 2016. Uh, maybe that's right. I was super sure though. I was very super sure that the game was released in 2009, the first. But still, thank you, Vito, for supplying us with crucial information about these games. And this is not the way forward. The way forward, I think, is coming here. All the way there. Uh, I was confused as well because when Tomb Raider Underworld was about to be released, I do remember a lot of fans they went and and the fan made trailers back then. And I don't know if you guys remember how crazy the internet was back in 2009, uh, 2008, 2009. Uh, it was when the the I, I don't remember his name Rick Astley I, I think uh, his name his meme was popularized the never gonna give you up never gonna let you down uh, hey Fonzer welcome to the stream how you're doing and that meme was popularized back then. Because there was a lot of people posting, um, can I, what do I do? Uh, there were a lot of people posting trailers for... Uh, this is not it. Posting trailers for, for... Well, people know new Grand Theft Auto 4 was coming out. And everyone was crazy after information, so people were... Releasing. Oh, what do I do with this? But people were releasing information. Uh, no, people were super anxious to see new information about Grand Theft Auto. So a lot of people started releasing fake trailers online. It was like, okay, GTA 4 new trailer. And when you went to the. When you went to the site to see the trailer, uh, to YouTube actually, it was <laughs> Rick Astley's never gonna get, no, never gonna give you up uh, video clip. So it was the first trolling of the internet age, and that was pretty upsetting. But in any case, um, back then people used to make trailers and nobody knew what was up. If they were real or not, because anyone could go and make these kind of things. And someone went and made a trailer for Tomb Raider Underworld, but they used footage from Uncharted. To say like, okay, this new Tomb Raider is gonna have a male character just like Angel of Darkness, and it's gonna be and you're gonna be able to play both. And they made a custom trailer with two characters with Lara and With uh, with Lara and Nathan running around and spelunking pretty much, and everyone was like, "Okay, the new Tomb Raider is gonna is gonna have a, a male character, hooray!" And it, it took a long while until people figure out it was a fake trailer made by fans, because back then nobody knew the that this is the way out. Let's go, get, get out. Nobody knew Uncharted was a thing. And this is the way down, I guess. Is it? Yes, it is. 
Uh, Fonzer, okay, you finished the previous game. I did. I finished it yesterday. I finished Tomb Raider 2, then I played the fan-made remake, and today I, I thought about uh, skipping Tomb Raider 3 because it's not it's not memorable to me, and the plot of it is dismissible, if anything. So I thought about ignoring it and going straight up for Tomb Raider 4. Although Tomb Raider 4 uh, wasn't working. Then I skipped Chronicles because Chronicles is Chronicles. And because Chronicles is Chronicles, so... Eh. And I decided to skip it and go for Angel of Darkness, but Angel of Darkness, surprise, surprise, was not working as well, and I have no idea why this time. So I went... Oh... Went to the next one, which is... Legends. That, or I could, or I could go to the... Oh... Okay, apparently it was not the next generation graphics that was bugging the game like crazy. Apparently the game is bugged like crazy. By default. And yeah. Actually, what the hell am I doing? I can just go back here. Oh, silly me. And I could go for the mobile versions of Tomb Raider. There is a Tomb Raider for the Game Boy Advance, which is actually pretty good, but I don't have a Game Boy Advance. There's no way for me to play that other than emulators. So no mobile Tomb Raiders. I decided to go straight up for Legends, because it's awesome. And you guys, those of you who didn't see this, you should see this. And Walter, they still do that. I And I don't doubt it. People will, whoa, people will be jerks forever. These physics based puzzles are super fun as well. Kinda weird, but fun nonetheless. Uh, more traps in here, and there's a block on the wall. Which you would not have seen unless you went for the binoculars. Or read a walkthrough, or something like that. Lara, come on. Whoa. Okay, I guess. And this super dramatic music that keeps playing, even though you're mostly pondering what do I do, rather than actually running around from traps or anything. But yeah, to go back, that's why I thought the... See, back with the actual move tropes. Oh, no, I died, <laughs> apparently. And that... And that's why I thought uh, Uncharted came out in 2009, because 2009 was when Underworld uh, was released. And back then there was a lot of trailers with Lara and Nathan from Uncharted. And I had never heard of Uncharted before. So at first I assumed it was... That the game didn't even exist before then, but apparently no, it was it, it existed and had been around for quite some time. I've missed Garner. Narrowly escaping death again, I see. There you are, Alistair. You found something about the sword pattern then. A few things actually. I extrapolated the markings on the artifact to get a sense of what the entire pattern would look like. And then I found Oops, we have a prop. Alistair? Zip. Alistair, do you read me? 
I don't like this at all. Yep. And yeah, like I said, this game has these new characters, Alistair and Zip, and they they talk like crazy. And what well, for people who came from the old games? Uh, this really changes the dynamics because you're always making some sort of progress and there were characters to talk to you along the way. That made the game more interesting. Well, Alistair and Zip do provide the comic relief. Mm, but yeah. These action movies, games, whatever. They always have this sort of... Character relief, sort of archetypes of characters around. Normally it's always the main character or the sidekick. But Tom Raider doesn't have a sidekick because it would impair the gameplay to have a character following you around and you're having to wait for this character. And they couldn't make Lara too comical because she is supposed to be, well, Lara. We. And in the end, that. Mm, that's why. We have Alistair and Zip, I think. And that's why they are the way they are. Is this right? What do I do from here? Yep. This might be a secret up there. Because I really don't remember where the secrets are in this game. Actually, no, never mind, the secret is down there. I think I needed to throw a grenade in here? To open up and get a secret. And it's even more comical when you realize there's a shitload of mercenaries up there. And they still have no idea I'm here, even though it just exploded a door with grenades. There they are. Wow. <laughs> okay, that dude there, he just decided he didn't want to leave anymore, I guess. And off to himself. Also, can I hit you from here? Yes, I can. Hooray. Hey. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. These bugs. Actually, in fact, I think that at first this bridge is still in, in place, and only and it breaks afterwards, and that's when uh, these ropes comes from. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I think this bridge was suppo supposed to be here, like intact. 
But we can see the bugs go even farther than we thought. Um, Chandler, what was that glitch? Yes! Like I'm saying, this game is so buggy. Compared to how it was the first time I played this game. Ow. There's another. Rolling boulder, apparently. That or... Really, I don't know what the hell is going on, but this game is super glitched. Like... I, I, I really... I think it's something to do with the newer graphics card I have in place. That... Or... This Tomb Raider doesn't agree with the new w version of Windows or something. But in any case, um, if you guys, you feel delightful boys and girls, are thinking about getting this game, maybe get the the, the, the the Xbox 360 version, because... Dang, <laughs> these glitches are kind of a deal breaker. Also, after you open this door, go back down. Quickly. Or else you might miss this golden... Whatever this is. And Chandler, more bugs equals better quality game. I don't know about that. And somersaults down the stairs, so freaking extra. Uh, yeah, in this game, Lara doesn't die after just a few jumps. You came for the Galali key too, then. Perfect. Pretend I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know, it's what puts the sword back together. It's the size of a fist, and according to Amanda's research, it's here. What do you know about Amanda? Where is she? So, your, your father did some digging here, didn't he? You know, well, sure thing, Chandler. Till later. He found the key. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me about that sword fragment you're so fond of waving about. Huh. Well... I have been spending some time with it, and I've learned a couple of things. Let me show you. Also, the underdog, trademark, welcome to the stream. And yes, it's boss fight time. We, with some bugs here and there. Got it. I wish I could do that, yes. Cut it out. Ow. Also, these controllers. They are the least responsive thing I've ever faced in my life. Also, yeah, I'm not talking, but you have to push down this platform so he can go back up and heal. Wait. So, what's the name of this guy again? James? I think it's James. I got it, James. I don't know who came up with these bosses, they'll keep repeating the same saying over and over, but... I'm really not your enemy, 
That's not good. These when it happened like this. They were designed to separate and reattach. The Galali key does that? I don't suppose you'd tell me where this came from. The Crusades? King Arthur? Uh, history doesn't interest me. Well, then why don't you stay here and consider the future? Make sure I'm not in it, however. You won't enjoy seeing me again. Your father might not have found the Galali key, but Amanda doesn't know that. She's at your mansion right now. You better have good insurance. Also, <coughs> I've been trying to get through for ages. What happened? This woman just tore her way through the front door. She had some sort of. I don't know what the hell it was. It's like black smoke. I'll be there straight away. Now, if I. Look, I'll have to follow her. She's going for another piece of the sword. What? Where? In Kazakhstan. I found a photo that matches the pieces you have. Alright. Do an inventory and try to locate something called the Galali Key. <sighs> I'm bound for colder climes. Back warm. I mean to be cold. Uh, the underdog Lehenger was so great, and it, it still is, except that this computer version is full of bugs. Like, crazy weird bugs. And Vito, Rutland just avoided Lara's question about Amanda, what a dummy. Also, hey Laura, welcome to the stream, I'm playing some Tomb Raider Legend today. And the underdog, JP. What does JP mean? And Samuel, be right back, sure thing. I got all the things, most of the things. And now we're going to a new place. Also, the underdog, thank you so very much for following me on Twitch. I really appreciate it. like this underdog and 360 version uh yeah the, the 360 version is the best version i think it works it has better graphics than the pc and the and the playstation 2 version does this explode? I don't think it does. So I'm dying. Um, by the PC, I mean the PC. If you're not, if you don't have, if you didn't have a potent, a potent uh, computer back in 2006 when this game released to the computers, that's how I played it. I played it with low resolution graphics. Whee. Also, there's still dude arenas alive. Like, there's a shitload of them alive still. And hey! Bye! Thanks for not being my way anymore. I really appreciate it. And you guys who have Google and whatnot, I have no idea where where in the world is Kazakhstan, other than the obvious, like it's close to Russia or something. Also, what's this? Oh, this is the secrets for this area. Also, look at this, the textures are bugging, trying to clip out of existence or something? I don't even know. But this is a guess with this level, it's uh, 
It's a research laboratory. Also, Lara, please. It seems like the further into the, this game I go, the more bugs I find. Oh. That's not super reassuring. And... Laura, a little late for that. A little late on that. Yeah. And that was not a bug, I forgot to press down. Yes, I... I did forget to press down, but apparently something weird happened where the parachute opened anyway, but I died. But there have been bugs going on before. Just not the... Some may, be, may have been my fault. I'm sh I've been doing things I should not have been doing, like somersaulting and tumbling around the level. And other things, I'm super sure it's the game fault. Or rather, my computer fault. And Kaze, welcome to the stream. I'm playing Tomb Raider Legend, I'm already kind of halfway into it. Ow! Hey! Uh... Okay. I guess I'll go back... I'll go back up then. Sure, I guess I can do that. Where, where are you? That's not a secret. And down here, is there secrets in here? E the slowest flight ever. So can I kill that guy? What's up with the turret guy? He's not even trying, look at this. Yeah, I have no idea what's up, but... This game doesn't seem to agree with the newer computers. Uh, whatever. It's different than newer computers, but this game doesn't seem to agree with it. And a lot of things are not working the way they should. Also, there was a secret somewhere around here. Aha! Uh -huh. Get those boxes and then I can break that and get this. Also, yeah, I said I would try to stop tumbling around so much, but <laughs> it's kinda hard. This game kind kinda wants you to do that, in a way. Bodies don't fly like that, especially with pistols. British, and it looks like we share an enemy. Where's your command center? Не отвечай. Что здесь нужно? Погоди. Если она использует код без ключа, то сработает тревога и центр прижмет под подмогу. Это что? Мы здесь охраняем только снег и звериную мочу. Или ты хочешь сам идти? Through the gate. The code is K1879. Uh, here we are. Also, Lord, there's one bug. Yeah, there's one of the many that I have encountered so far. Also, go grenades, go! Ow! Also, I think that they were talking Russian. I only know that because I know the Russian word for tanks. 
Or maybe all these languages have the same... These, uh... They have, they have the same word... Whoa! The same words for tanks. That's also a possibility. I don't know. Uh, tick lips again? Yes, yeah, Sam. We'll never be done with the tick lips in this game. Oh. Uh, Vito, they were talking Russian. Okay, we got that out of the way then. I'm glad. Also, the secrets for each level are customized. Be visible from above. We need maps. There it is. Ooh, that's a hike. I'm not walking. There's a military transport train that runs past the lab. It looks like Amanda's boys are ahead of me. I'd better run. Whoops. Satellite feed showing your train's about to roll. You better run. Fast. Uh, each level has their own customized secrets, the little things I've been gathering around. But for whatever reason, these level's secrets are little energy balls. Yeah? Actually, not for whatever reason. There is a reason. You guys will get to see that. In a while, maybe. Also, making so much more progress with this game than I was doing with Tomb Raider 2 and 1 and whatnot. Oh. Hey. Uh. Also, I've been trying to shoot at these guys from far away, but it seems like the... Uh. Uh, when I'm closer, I do better. Because I actually have to aim at things, and the further away I am, well, the further away I am, the hard, the worse my accuracy is. Also, another obligatory driving section. Whoa! And these are not fun. Prepare yourselves for several retries of this. So it's super fun to see Laura simply shooting at something that's so far away off screen. Yep. Uh, ooh, eh. Yeah. Also, I'm super close. Wow, super close to dying. I didn't even see that. The worst thing about these is that it's impossible to, to avoid getting damaged. Simply have to brute force these levels. What? Uh, hey. And you have to get medipacks along the way. But unlike on levels, if you miss medipacks, uh, there's no way you can go back for them. And now, uh, and now I didn't have any medipacks. So I died. That's what happened. Uh, where are they? All the way up there. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. Ow. There has to be a better way to kill these dudes. Or to avoid getting damaged so much. Miss the mad packs again. Ah, <sighs> well.
And yeah, th this level is the same as before, <clears throat> as the Peru level. I have to get through several loops of this map before the game will allow me to to progress. And I don't know what triggers the loops. If it's killing enough dudes or just seeing the loop like three or four times. But something triggers it. Whatever that thing is, that's what I'm aiming for. Also, uh... Medipack. Hey, that's my last one. was kind of violent. Ooh. And even though this level is looped, the placement of the medipacks is random. And I figure out the, the white shirt guy, he has a shotgun. So getting close to him is pretty much insta-death. And I can't lob grenades at these dudes. I mean, even if I could, it wouldn't do much. There's a white shirt dude all the way back there, the other side. Let's avoid being close to him. Even though I'm probably not hitting him at all. Wait. Or I did hit him and he died. So hooray for that. Progress may happen. Possibly, hopefully. Uh, no, get away from me. Also, medipacks, hooray! I needed those. And here he is, and he isn't here anymore. I don't know, maybe <laughs> when I was younger and played this on the PS2, maybe I was way bigger into this and was able to play these levels almost flawlessly which I certainly am not being able to do right now ow oh you fucker and will this ever end I don't know if it'll land. Whoa! Uh, yeah, I couldn't get that one map made it back either. Ow. Mm. Uh, Lord, <laughs> it looked like you should have survived that. Yeah, this level is bullshit. It doesn't take zero skills into account at all. Whatever skills you need to, to do this. The chance for you to hit the guys and the guys to hit you are random. So it is possible for the guys to... to don't hit you at all or and you hit them all times. Just as it's possible for them to hit you every single shot and you not hit a single bullet on them. So whether you whether you you win this level or not is kind of up to chance. And this level is pretty much just survive and get medipacks and stay alive. But the medipacks happen so often. And 
if I did start this level with some medipacks at hand, I would have a better chance. I would have started with more than just one. See, this time he missed me. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> uh, Sam. St. Douglas, you have to stop. I have to stop getting be shotted. I did get the expression, yes. But it's impossible, so I hope you guys don't mind watching this a repeat of this level maybe seven more times. Also Medipack. So that's bullshit. I ran over the medipacks, but I only got one. Let's try to get rid of this guy first, because he's the worst of them all. He's the one hit kill dude. Let's see, now for whatever reason, that was sort of an insta kill. Dad and you. Finally, I'm done with that path. Oh. Oh, oh, ow. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. So I don't know how well or how badly the whole thing is. Like, if I can jump in both ways or not. Yes, I, I could. I didn't, so bad. And I hope you're ready for a repeat of this whole Q-Dude section again. Because it's happening. But yes, Lore, progress. Progress finally happened. Ow. Whoa. And now this dude is a thing. Also, I'm out of medipacks, and I'm the dead. <laughs> Go again. Also, this is a long ass train. No matter how many times I keep looping this this level, I seen like more than a hundred cars by now. So let's try and kill the car dude first. Think up. He's the biggest problem I have. Hey. Okay, he's done for. And I missed many packs there. Progress is his progress. I hope it is progress. Hey. Wow, there's so shit shitload of people in here. An amount of medipacks, so this is probably the time I die. 
Oh wow, there's way too many dudes in here. Eh. Oh well. Games are supposed to be fun, you know. Also, are you guys seeing this? This whole invisible textures that's happening? It's kind of eerie and... Mm, just doesn't look nice. Doesn't look that nice at all. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, it seems that in our cyber journey we stuck at this part. Uh, I missed the Medipack! Hooray for me. Fuck me. Uh, you can't see them, you think? Or you agree? Yes, every now and then the ground textures getting invisible. That's slightly annoying. Also, can I kill you from this distance? Oh, Maddie back. Yay. <laughs> so, from what I remember, the most, the more air time you get. The easier it is for you to hit people, and the harder it is for people to hit you. So I should try to go for all ramps. Ow! Uh, holy... well, that was a kamikaze. Not our kamikaze, just a random kamikaze. Uh, I don't know about it, you guys. I'm not super feeling this this part on hard. Maybe I should lower the the difficulty to something like medium or easy or something else. Also, let's try zigzagging a little bit more. I don't know if that does anything. Uh, what the hell? Let's try it. Like, it makes sense that by zigzagging like a crazy person, I'd be able to avoid getting shot and maybe, hopefully, hit things better. I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. Also, the worst of both words. Uh, white shirt dude in a car. It's like instant murder for me. And I think I beat the car. I don't have... Oh, fuck me. Awesome. Yes! I was lucky. I was lucky that that was there. Am I oh god, no, why? You know what? I'm not even gonna try to catch up to these guys. I'm gonna be. Actually, I have to. Zigzag, see? Oh, calm. Mmm. Nathan, the drunker driver fighting style. And boom, bye bye cars. That worked, but I died nonetheless, so. Okay, can I change the difficulty mid level? I don't think I can. I have to finish. Level, fuck me. Also, let's turn this on again, because. It doesn't seem to be what's racking things. Oh. 
No. The game does look better. Hey. So zigzagging like crazy does seem to improve my survival chances out a little bit. Not much though. And it is so much harder to to control myself and be able to go the way I wanna go. Sam, our cyber journey just got harder. It already was. It's even worse now. And now, for whatever reason, the game is like, oh, hey, have an extra medic pack. I don't need extra medic packs. I need. Actually, I do. If only I could hold an infinite amount of medic packs, I'd be so much happier. Also, there's kind of supposed to be a change, change targets button. It doesn't seem like it's working though. What is it? No, not this screen. Control configuration. Show me the goodies. Uh, R should change targets. R or right mouse. It seems like I have to stop shooting though. And Chandler, welcome back. Final Fantasy VII vibes. And from the motors, motors, motorcycle segment. For those of you who don't know, I don't. Cause I never played it. Yeah, it would seem like there is a. Oh. Should not touch the train. Ow. Wee. Okay, this was good. When you fly too high, people can't hit you with bullets, apparently. Medipat, hooray! I got one though. You'll have to suffice. And I'm super not into this level. Because I know oh shit. Uh, because I I know that as soon as I keep killing dudes, more dudes with bigger, meaner weapons will show up. This is kind of ridiculous because so far I haven't died a single time in the game from enemies. The only thing that has been able to kill me so far was myself jumping from cliffs and whatnot. Also, yeah, if I throw myself in front of them, they do crash. That's good, you know. Oh no, I missed a medipack. I'm guessing the, our best option here is change the difficulty. Ow. And hit those shitload of propane tanks are scattered around the level for no apparent reason. Also, see, now the game is being more forgiving and giving medipacks, but I'm sure it isn't because I died a hundred times. 
It's giving me those because the game is random. And I know, I know, I'm complaining a lot. But dying so many times because the game is being stupid does get oneself very salty. Like super salty, like crazy salty. You guys have no idea. Also, I don't know. Lore, is 3 the max amount of medipacks I can hold? Yes, it is. I can't hold any more than that. Uh, the problem is... Yes, I lost. Uh, if I change the difficulty, I think I'll have to restart the level. Like, do the whole thing I already did again. But maybe it's better... I didn't save my game, I should save my game. But maybe it's better than redoing this shit forever. Um, can I change the difficulty throughout the game? I don't know if it'll allow me that. Play level. Oh boy, I think I actually have to finish the level in the current difficulty level. I can change. Oh boy. Oh boy. This or I start a new game and play this whole thing again. Okay, let's uh, let's try Kazakhstan. This bike level one more time. before I go crazy insane with how bullshitty this game is being <laughs> can't I activate some sheets on the manuals? I don't think I can okay let's go also one more hour of stream today unless, uh, unless I end this level so <laughs> I have one hour to try and beat this part it's ridiculous, unfair part of this otherwise amazing game. <clears throat> I hope you guys are up for that. And uh, Lord, well that's annoying. I agree, you have no idea how annoyed I am by this. Maybe you do. Also, somehow, I'm, I miss these guys like crazy, but whenever it's a propane tank, holy shit, Lara has l laser sights in her eyes, because she doesn't miss those ever. That or these guys, they have, like, they are 100% Kevlar, and they don't take damage at all. Uh, Chandler, you believe in me? Thanks. Although, I need more than belief to get through this level. I need sheer mad skills. And a whole shit... shitload of luck. Luck and other things. Very good things. Uh, by the power of the Borks, let me finish this level, please, game. That's the only thing I'm asking of you. The only single thing, even, I, I won't even ask for Krimble's presence. I've been a good boy otherwise. I haven't been naughty at all. I could get a nice, super nice Krimble's, Krimble's present, but I'm, I won't even. I won't even ask for one. All I ask is to be over with the level. And I will always love you. 
If you don't kill me in this, no. There we go. More snow bike to Drinos. You die. Uh, no, don't kill me. Ooh, where are the medipacks? Oh, they're not, they're not here anymore. Um, uh, is any of you keeping count of how many times I have died? Also, pretty useless ramp back there. You know what? Let's me tr let me try some mad strats and stay to the stick to the road. There is kind of a very faint road texture here. Maybe if I stay to the roads, the game will reward me in some way, some random way. Like, oh look, you you are keeping to the roads. Fuck. Ah, oh, missed. Missed exploded propane tank. Whee. Look at me zigzagging like crazy. In the snow, the slippery snow, somehow I'm not dying breaking my neck. Also, camera, why do you keep focusing on the wall? There's nothing there, I've already looked. That's what I'm talking about. Medipack management. Also, fuck no. Uh, Chandler, you lost count. And Sam. Uh, <laughs> okay. This works too. And I can have Cyberboy Sam Blesses at my side. I can do it. Thanks. Thanks, Sam. I didn't that time. But now, with the power of Cyberboy Sam, the power of all, all, of also got an enemy on my side, maybe I can do this. Just maybe. Okay, so I have to zigzag like crazy, and I also have to be super close to these guys. I can't keep shooting from far away because apparently Lara can't hit things for shit. And I can't. Cross those trees because they are they are chunkier than they seem at first. Also, thank you for breaking and waiting for me. It's pretty nice of you. Would you look at that? I missed a medipack already. I'm out of medipacks. Ow. Whoa. Chandler, yes, meme it up. Uh, I don't know if the power of memes will help me. You know what I'll do? If I fail uh, just one more time, I'm gonna... Go to Google. Google's our savior and it will give me some insight as to how to beat this freaking level. Or even see if there's actually some bug with this game because I think. Oh, ow. There's some heavy bugs with this game that are changing the everything of it. Ow. They are also making they, they are making the, the collisions in this game work really 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 badly if that's what's happening. Also I, I think I just learned a new thing. 
If I let go of every single button and just hold the fire button, I seem to kill these dudes much faster. It might be just me though. Or not. Maybe that's the way to go. I let go of every single button there is. And just hold the trigger. That seems to do it. Yeah. Oh, actually that may be it. That may be it. Not gonna get my hopes up too much. Ow. That may be it. Also, no, you're not gonna get between me and the precious medipacks. Also, was was this guy in a T-pose? Like a default default as what well, modeling tree T-pose for second there? Also, can I do this? Can I do this? Please don't let me die. Yes! Yes, that was delicious. I don't have any more med packs though, so please let... Oh, yes, this is the land. Holy shit, guys, we did it. <laughs> the power of you guys' support and anime and God and the memes, especially the memes. We did it. We finished this level. Oh, there's just a janky driving section and I'm done with this level for fucking ever I can't believe I've done this even and uh, where's the level? <clears throat> Yeah, we had to die in an idiot way. At least it saved here. Uh, Lord, we'll be right back. Um, good luck when we believe in you. Thank you, Lord. Hopefully you're back by now. Uh, 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 Sam, the journey of the cybernet desires... Desire continues. Which desire? And uh, Chandler saying a lot lots of words uh, do you know any C++ C++ tutorials for coding custom shades so for whatever reason these parts uh, textures aren't loaded up um, Nathan yay indeed yay yay all the way and Sam the desire to beat the game and there we go Tomb Raider Legend error. If a fatal error has occurred while playing Tomb Raider Legend, please refer to the README file for information which might help you solve this problem or contact IDOS customer support. And that's what that's what we get for beating the game, beating the 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 impossible level. The game crashes on you. Apparently, it wasn't supposed to be completed at all, or something like that. Uh, but holy shit, I passed that level. I don't know how, but I did. <sighs> so, what, what are you guys finding of uh, Tomb Raider Legend? I know, I thought Angel of Darkness was going to be a shit show, but this one, this one is really, is really putting in some extra effort to... To make itself become even bleh. And I just verified the integrity of the game files on Steam and it seems like the files are very integrous or something. Everything should be working just fine. It isn't though. Uh, Chandler, this one is interesting. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. Because not only it's interesting, but it's also super frustrating to go through these endless bugs and glitches. Also, let's enable again wide widescreen. And I wonder, 
Could it be the white screen that's fucking everything up? I don't know. But it could be. And here we are again. In the endless biking section of this game. Because I have no idea how long I have been in this level so far, but this biking section... I've been at this for at least half an hour. At least. But I'm finally close to finishing it. Also, the subtitles are disabled. Let me re-enable them. Otherwise, things are gonna get spoopy. There we go. Also, if the scenery could just stop disappearing. Uh, Nathan, uh, never mind, the game crashed again. A uh, fatal error has occurred, blah blah blah. And it's a shitload of errors. I don't know what these mean, but it's an error nonetheless. Uh, exception blah, exception cold access violation blah, read of address blah, exception address blah. CPU info, EX, EBX, ECX, EDS, ESI, EDI, EIP, ESP, and EBP. All of them have got crazy codes attached. And I don't know. Just, just so you guys don't think I'm, uh, I'm going insane here, having a stroke or something. Uh, let me show you to you guys. This is what's happening here. A fa fatal error has occurred, blah blah blah, the game crashed. And these things are, uh, are a thing now. Uh, but anyway... <clears throat> Nathan, uh, you do not code, you're a graphic designer and mechanic builder. You use a visual scripting and engine tools. And uh, Nathan, but about shaders, there is no way to make this in code. It's a different scripting language and it's really difficult to learn. Only for super geek and ultra nerds. Chandler, I know I can make custom shaders for Maya by using C or C, but you're looking to visual scripting too. And a fatal error, yes, it happened. Those are a thing, apparently. Vito, whoa! <laughs> Nathan, also new Unity 2018 beta, has a shader scripting tool at standard, you can look on them. Um, let's try putting this game to default settings, it just up the resolution a little bit. Otherwise it's gonna look crazy and leave it the way it is. Enable next generation content, or otherwise the game won't look so pretty. Because it's a pretty game, it has to look pretty. And... Will it work? That is a question. I think it did, but it didn't. Yes, the resolution size is... Crazy. Let me up it back to the default. And hope the game doesn't crash on me. Which I think it just did. Game? Are you in there? Did it crash? I think it did crash. So... That's um uh, That's fun. That's entertaining. That's good, in general. So, you guys, I think that this means... Uh, in short... That this game is not pretty much playable, I guess. Not anymore. Um, I don't know, maybe what I can... Ele abriu. Só que aqui ele não... Não salvou essas configurações. 
É, ele abriu, só que ele crashou porque ele abriu na resolução errada. Aí eu fui mandar a resolução dentro do jogo e ele. Pá! Ele se recusou a funcionar. And ok, we're back. Uh, this time I'm not, I'm not gonna enable the. the widescreen. Let's go with. 3x4 ratio on a widescreen screen. Also, hey Bahamut, welcome to the stream. You did chose a pretty good time to join the stream, in fact, because uh, before you joined, before the crashes and whatnot, I was in the section for half an hour because the section is impossible to beat. Also, I think the subtitles are off. Let's enable them as well. This might also be what's crashing the game, but who knows? At this point, nothing... Nothing would impress me anymore. I'm dead inside. <laughs> and yeah, the roads are still invisible. And then we get to this cutscene, and the game crashed again. Ah well, a fatal error has occurred, everyone. I don't know what to do about this fatal error that, that happens. Uh, I have only one thing that can um, that can make things work, and that is going to the game's uh, folder on the computer. Going to the executable of the game. DRL properties. Also, this is showing on the capture. It shouldn't, but it, it is. So that's good because I wanted to show this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is turn on the compatibility. This game was released on the Windows XP. So yeah, sure. Do that. Uh, also run as administrator. Because that's what I am. I administrate the system. Let's try this again. And um, Nathan, eh, animation of old games. It's crazy, yeah. Also, the game should be showing up on the capture, it's not showing up. Maybe because I'm executing it as something else, the game is like, whoa. The capture doesn't know that the game is the game anymore. Let's try this. Uh, it stopped working. The capture doesn't want to capture the game anymore. Oh boy. At least the song is playing, and it this is a nice title song for this game. I like the song. At least that's working. Maybe I need to launch it from Sting. I can't launch it from the the thing. You know the thing, the thing, I can't launch from the thing, I have to launch from the Steam or else the capture won't take it, won't capture it. Good yeah, emulation of old games. And hello. And... Bahamut, you're a black cat. Maybe. And Sam, Cyberboy Sam had a fatal error, but has fixed it now. Uh, can I run this game on windowed mode? I can't. Apparently. Okay, there's only one other thing I can think that'll make this game show on capture, which is to capture the display. There we go. Yeah, sure, capture the color the cursor. So let's try and open the game again. There we go. Thank you. 
Well, I don't even know in which capture it's showing up, but it is showing up in, in, a, in a capture. Let's go back to the game. Hopefully it'll stay... It'll keep capturing. There we go. Let's resume the game. Let's try this... This bullshit once again. And... Welcome back, Lore. I did get past that part, but apparently as soon as I get past a certain part, the game crashes on me. And it crashes so hard that I haven't been able to make progress. So this level is awfully more ways than one. It isn't just the gameplay of it that is bad. It's actually the game code. And Windows 10, I guess? But there's a, a hard compatibility issue happening here. Also, I'll try to skip the cutscene, I guess. It's rather missing... I'd rather miss a cutscene than have the game crash on me again. Will you go? Will you work? Can I... Yes, I can skip. And hooray! Games are now happening. I didn't even get to test to see what was causing the crashes, but anyway. Progress, finally. <sighs> I can at least finish the Kazakhstan level. Inside and the door sealed. So now what? There's a vent on the wall to the right of the cargo door. The found one, she's got the power. How will you get in? One way or another. But this was fun. Troubleshooting is always. is always not fun. Yep. But it's fun when you at least find a way to solve the problems. It's not fun to troubleshoot, but when you find the solution, then and things start to get moving again, that's when happiness exists. So I got a thing, I don't know what that thing is, but I got it. In fact, I think that's the golden... No, it isn't. The golden and the bronze shenanigans look remarkably alike. So where do I go now? Oh yeah, go all the way up there. Uh, Nathan, you make textures in ZBrush. Uh. Uh. You make textures in ZBrush. Or models, but materials in ZBrush is a matte cam, you can't... I can't take these materials to Unity, you need to make new one in engine. Yes, I, I. A while ago, I did try to get into. into using Unity. It's kind of crazy, but it's also fun. Try to get into Unity, and there's so so much to it. Actually, not only Unity but Blender as well. And there, much colder in here than it was outside. There's so much to it. You have to make uh, you have to make objects then that attached a material texture. So much to it. It's crazy.
And in this area, the game finally decides it's time to teach you one and one new thing. There's a secret in here. That's good. But uh, I think this game had a little feature. That yeah, this doesn't work like that. I actually have to stop and rotate. Doing these shimmy shams till I turn around 180. Uh, Chandler, there is a lot to it. Yeah, it makes a very long time to use complicated software at a decent place, indeed. She's only found the emergency power. She came in through the main doors. I don't think she's been here. And Nathan, you can ask you about this thing on Discord, uh, or we can also join your your game dev club on uh, Entro Dynamics. It's also a nice Entro site, just like for Affinity, except it's newer and and, and fun. Uh, you would be happy to answer all these kinds of questions. Uh, Nathan, that is your hobby. You work on turn-based combat systems right now. That's, that's cool as well. Uh, what do I do now? I guess I jump forward. Uh, one of Chandler's favorite types. Turn-based combat things. Which is cool. Also, uh, I got the juices to flow. The green, gassy juices, I guess. That should do it. And do the Renos! Took me a while to get things going again, but they are finally here and they finally working finally. Uh, is everyone still there or have I lost you guys? To the endless bugs of, of the black level of Kadatstan. Kazakhstan, actually. Probably looks like a carnival sideshow when the power's on. Also, this other secret thing. We let's turn on the power. Yay! Power is on. And we are into the amazing Mirage 4 uh, Gepetto Chinetimibinikis. I don't know. Chandler, what, <laughs> what is all this? I don't know. Um, Bahamut, that was a quick passage for you. You do. You go game a bit too. FH, I don't know what FH means. Uh, have a good day or night, and sure thing. And thanks for, for sticking around, Bahamut. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have an awesome day. Neku, did you hear game dev? Yes, both. Uh, Nathan is actually a game dev, and Chandler has been trying to learn as well, uh, from what I gathered. Uh, Vito is still there, hooray. Alfonso, you're there, lurking as always. But the best kind of lurk. Uh, Neku, you want to make game dev your career? It is a good career to make. Um, HF may be have fun. Maybe. Uh, Nathan, you make games. I didn't get to see any game you worked on. You did say you work on mobile games. Um, if possible, I should take a look into these. 
Oh, right! A fatal error has occurred. Apparently the whole Kazakhstan level is full, riddled with bugs. Oh boy. Oh boy. What fun times are we having? Let's try this. Let's try and do this differently. So, this is not how I expected my day to go, but this is certainly more interesting than, uh, what's his face? Uh, Monster Hunter. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, Neku! Hello there, Nathan. Didn't you say your hearts are pretty today? And that's the link to the game dev. And Sammy, if my fatal errors continue, Cyberboy Sam is gonna have a fatal error. And Lore, all well, the more issues. Many issues. And Neku, how many games? Okay, apparently I can jump there. Jumping to that platform is the problem. Let's try this again. Or is it going forward? What triggers the the error? Maybe if I jump from this side. Okay, okay it's actually that one very tight spot. I can't get into that single spot right there. That's what causes my game to crash and explode spectacularly. But uh, yeah, you guys, I don't know if Tomb Raider Legend is actually finishable. Still skips up. Uh, we won't be able to finish this game. Yes, apparently there's a lot of things and places I can't go. Otherwise, um, crashes are gonna happen. And I'm uh, kind of, I don't think this is doable. <laughs> I think this game is... Fatally flawed. And I guess th this is gonna have to be it for today. I don't think this game is playable. Not in its current state. Uh, so you guys know what that means. This is this is it for today, I guess. Top Radio Legend isn't a thing. And uh Maybe I'll play Anniversary or The World tomorrow or so. And then we'll finally get to the new, new Tomb Raiders. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Nathan, it must be some sort of collider thing. Do not touch this object and it'll be fine as long as there is no only way. Yeah, the problem is... The colliders in this entire game are fucked up. On this level specifically, they seem to be worse than anything else. And Chandler, thanks for streaming. Yeah. Uh, Monster Hunter World. Uh, nah. It's already kind of five and a half. Uh, it's close to the time I would have finished my stream, nonetheless. So, I don't know. And Spiker, no, you just got in sadness. Uh, yeah, it took. You, you're finally here, but I don't think we'll be able to continue. I've been playing this game for some hours now, and I realize this game has several bugs and issues that don't allow me to finish the game. I just figure out uh, if I try to grab this ledge right here, uh, the game will crash if I jump from, but I can't get in from the other side, so that's a workaround. But if I jump to this pipe thing, uh, I can rotate, but if I try to jump to that other ledge right there, all the way there, uh, the game will also crash. So there's colliders problems happening all over the place in this level. It's crazy. 
And Sam, it seems like it's time to say your farewells. It was a great cyber journey. Uh, it was until I got to Kazakhstan, because that bike level was stressful. This whole situation with the bugs is not fun. It's crazy. Uh, Cyberboy, Sam is going away now. Good. Goes away from the internet. Sure thing. Uh, see you later, Sam. Uh, Spiker, thank you so much for joining, but uh, the stream is over. It's impossible to keep going with the game broken the way it is. And your eternal tears. And... Kaza, you're back, but the game is over. I don't think I can keep playing this game, because if I, tr if I make this jump to progress the game, it'll crash. It'll crash really hard. Uh, Lara, such a C word. <laughs> Actually, let me try and make this jump again. Uh, okay, it crashed. <laughs> Crashes all all over the place. Oh boy. Uh, you you need to go, but you'll be back for thirty minutes. No worries, the stream is over anyway. This game doesn't want to happen, so you won't. And uh, Spiker, no worries, see you soon, man. Have a good one, thank you. Kaze, no problem. Chandler, you're pissing out you. <laughs> Walter, the game says, I'm done. Uh, yes, it doesn't want to be played anymore. But who knew such a thing happened or existed, but yeah, that's, that's the situation today, folks. The game doesn't want to be played, so that's it. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me enjoy and then stop enjoying Tomb Raider 2. It was fun while it lasted. I mean, not Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider Legends. And eventually we'll be back with Tomb Raider Underworld, then you guys can see what shit show that one game is as well. And then, after we're done with this incredibly weird series, we'll get to Tomb Raider 2013. It came faster than I thought it would, but it's gonna happen. And then, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and hopefully the new Tomb Raider will be released. And then I'll be playing that on the stream. Uh, Neku, I have 11 Brazilian highs in my, my thing. I can buy things. Um, lore, it was fun despite all the bugs. Yeah, it was fun. Unfortunately, it's over. But anyway, I'll be seeing you guys later. Thank you guys so much for joining the stream. I hope you enjoyed uh, this buggy version of Tomb Raider Legends. Go play it on a console, because on the computer, modern computers don't want to run this game. And that's it. My name was Douglas. I played some Tomb Raider. And I hope you beautiful, awesome, amazing boys and girls. Stay good. And stay... And stay super lovely until we meet again tomorrow. So that's it for today. See ya everyone. Bye bye. ¿Quién ha sido? Douglas, thank you for that host. Thank you very much.